Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. You had one minute to be able to unpack for the audience. What about those who've never heard about Jesus Christ? gives a defense. Your second objection, uh, Alex, in your book, that you say people bring up, and they'll say that creation is a myth. What about evolution? Couldn't God have created us but used evolution to do it? Well, yeah, there's kind of a twofold question. Did we evolve from a purely naturalistic um, material universe, or was there a God, and maybe did God use evolution? I, I would say this, in sharing the gospel with people, just a little tactical note here, if, if you lead off with a critique of evolution, sometimes the, that is counterproductive. Um, oftentimes if people say, well, hey, you know, hasn't evolution disproven Christianity? I would say, you know, that's a good question, and there are a lot of uh, good things to talk about. First, let's, let's talk about Jesus. So if you're trying to lead somebody to Christ, keep uh, Jesus out front and deal with evolution later because if you try if you lead off with a critique of evolution oftentimes people's minds shut however um, the question is evolution you know are we the product of a mighty god or a muddy glob you know are we made in god's image or a mud in god's absence and i would say this uh, i do not believe in evolution for s several reasons science has proven the universe had a beginning and because the universe had a beginning, it hasn't existed forever. So every effect has to have had a cause. And, and the best uh, cause for the universe and all of the resulting effects is a supernatural, timeless, immaterial, intelligent cause. In other words, God. I mean, think about this. Um, if we uh, evolved out of the primordial soup, time plus chance plus uh, Darwin's warm little pond, quote unquote. I mean, uh, something came from nothing something turned into something else. Chaos is the mother of order. Um, inanimate matter produced intelligence and consciousness and then multiple centers of consciousness because you and I are, we're both conscious but yet we're different. Um, science has, uh, materialistic science has no accounting for that phenomenon. And so really the complex, well-ordered world, the universe, finely tuned for life to have existed seems, again, best understood in terms of, of there being a God. As far as macroevolution, something coming from nothing, something turning into something else, we simply do not have evidence for that. Let me give you two things, and, and I, I know the title is The One Minute Apologist, so I've kind of blown that out of the water. But um, there, uh, you, you might classify science in a couple of ways. Uh, you could talk about operations, how things work but origins, where things come from. Operations are testable, repeatable, observable. In other words, it's empirical. Empirical means you can touch it, you can quantify it, measure it, take its temperature. Um, origins, uh, whatever you believe about origins, you really do believe by faith. Because the origin of the universe and the creation of life, I mean, we weren't there to observe it. Uh, we can't repeat it in the lab. So uh, just know this, a person can believe in materialistic, naturalistic, godless evolution, but it is a faith position. The question is, which faith position really seems more in line with the known evidence? And I would say theism, in other words, the fact that there is a God, a creative God, an intelligent cause, seems more plausible in light of all that we know.